All right, Sunday boiler school on a Monday. Coming to you from the shop. So we're just gonna pretend this is the boiler, the tripod right now. So I wanna talk about swing joints on a steam boiler. So you're coming off the boiler with your 24 and a lot of times you see just a 90 and a T to your supply and then back down to your equalizer catches the return. So without using a swing joint, your expansion goes into the boiler instead of through the piping. Also, you cannot achieve proper pitch without a swing joint unless the boiler, you prop the boiler up in the front and then it'll pitch back down to the equalizer. So instead of using 190 and coming across to the T, you can add a nipple and another 90 and then come to your T for your supply. So your swing joint is now here and you can achieve proper pitch back down to the equalizer and catch the return. Swing joints are important on steam. Please use them. Here are pictures of piping diagrams using swing joints. The first is Wa McLean and the second is Peerless with a note. Use swing joints to attach to the header to avoid damage to the boiler due to thermal expansion and contraction of steam header pipe.